USRN welcomes you to the 66th Daytona 500. And finally, at long last, it's blue skies and sunshine overhead at the World Center of Speed. And just a little over 24 hours after the scheduled green flag time, still a hearty bunch of Daytona diehards have settled in to watch the stars and cars of the NASCAR Cup Series compete in the most prestigious race of their season. Coming to the green flag, it's time to drop the hammer in the Daytona 500. Joey Logano and Michael McDowell, a pair of Fords, lead us to the green, and the great American race is underway. Two by two, the field filters towards the 33 degrees of banking in turns one and two for the first time and building speed with Logano top side of row one. Michael McDowell to his left elbow and they roll off turn two and hit the super stretch for the first time at speed. These cars take about a lap to get up to full song as they Get the end of the back straight away and head back towards turn three. McDowell still on the bottom of the racetrack, glued and screwed to that double yellow line. Joey Logano topside, two former 500 winners on the front row. Swing up out of turn four. Come to the main straightaway in front of a terrific crowd on this Monday. And lap one of the Daytona 500 is complete and it was dead even at the line between those two new Fords, the new Ford Dark Horse Mustangs drifting up to the high side as they make their way back to the tribal. Oh, one car breaks loose and around in the grass. Harrison Burton along with another Carson Hosovar. Burton in the grass now screaming back into traffic and gets hit hard by two, maybe three cars. Ryan Priest is involved. He gets tagged hard. And two other cars went through the wet and muddy grass, but Harrison Burton got nailed as he came back up into the racing groove. Hosovar, the rookie from Michigan, trying to get back going. He came to rest in the grassy apron, but he's not going to go anywhere in the grass as much as it's rained the last couple of days. And the first accident of this Daytona 500 puts us under caution very early. To come well, John up with some of the, got pitched down into him. Yeah, he did, and I think by Brad Keselowski. And then, of course, when you get into that wet grass, you're not slowing down. And I mean, Burton got tattooed by, I think, that's Kaz Grala. Oh, man. Oh, and Jimmy Johnson. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Johnson had to slam on the binders and try to thread the needle between the wall and the spinning Carson Hosovar car. And getting set for the restart. A lot of cars did come down pit road under the caution. Not everyone did. Ryan Blaney and Christopher Bell now become the leaders. And the green flag goes up in the air. And we are back to racing as we have completed now 11 laps of the 200 in this Daytona 500. And it's Bell on the front row from the outside getting a push from Joey Logano. Downstairs, you've got Ryan Blaney and Daniel Hemrick lined up. Chase Elliott is fifth in that first group. Then a bit of a straddled start from sixth on back. That'll take care of itself as the draft kicks in as everyone builds speed. Exiting turn two and hitting the super stretch. It's Bell and Blaney on the front row. Two of the championship four contenders from last season and Blaney who won the series championship for the first time. Heads to turn three with a nose in front of Bell. Then it's Kyle Larson gets pushed from Alex Bowman as they go to turn number three. And through three and four they go. Kyle Bush trying to keep the field at bay as we begin the final lap of the stage. Here's Elliott. Yeah, Elliott cut to the inside of Byron. Now to the outside of Bush. What a power move right at the line here by Chase Elliott. His teammate Kyle Larson will push him along past Kyle Bush. It's Elliott to the lead. Larson is second. Bowman is third. One, two, three for the Hendrick cars as they're in the West Banking for the final time in this first stage. Back straight away, top three, single file. Now make it four as Ross Chastain has the bush light colors up to fourth. Here he goes to the inside. He'll go inside of Bowman. He's got help from William Byron, another Hendrick car. It's Elliott by half a car length over Kyle Larson in turn three. Chastain for third. He's got a run on Larson. 
Here's the run to stage one. Oh, and Larson's got a big run. Here he comes to the outside of Chase Elliott. Chastain's going to stay behind Elliott, though, and he's going to push Elliott to the flag. Green and white checkered flag is out, and Chase Elliott wins stage one of the Daytona 500 by about a half a car length. He only won two stages all of last season, but Chase Elliott has won the first stage of this season. It will come at the completion of lap 70 of 200 in the Daytona 500. Kyle Larson and Josh Berry on the front row here, and we go back to racing. Green flag up in the air, and stage two of the Daytona 500 is underway with Larson and Berry on the front row, Todd Gilliland and our in-car guy today, Denny Hamlin in row two. Then it's Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman in row three. Two by two for about the first ten rows. Then single file from there on back as Josh Berry gets pushed to the lead off turn two. What a moment this has to be for Hendersonville, Tennessee's Josh Berry. Grassroots racer at his core now getting a shot in the Great American Race. But his lead is not going to last very long. Kyle Larson gets a shove from Todd Gilliland and the 2021 series champion goes to the lead in turn three. Now Barry will fight back on the inside. It's Larson by half a wheel. Barry fighting inside Gilliland trying to get to Larson. Here comes Wallace outside, makes the move stick, and Bubba Wallace goes to the lead of the 500. Josh Barry trying to work himself back into the mix. Bush goes by Wallace. He got a big push from Brees. And Kyle Busch, the near winner last year, has his blue and green Chevrolet back at the front. And Ryan Priest goes to the lead, but as soon as we say that, here comes about 20 cars coming down pit road. Everybody be careful. Oh, Josh Berry is spun. He's sideways in his pit. Laney three briefly. Thought about three wide, then tucked back in line behind Cindric. Final lap of the stage. They nearly made contact to Bush and Cindric. Blaney now, a big shove to Cindric. Massive sh shove. Cindric to the lead. Blaney to second to the inside of Bush. Then it's Suarez now. Blaney's going to go peel off and dupe his teammate. He's going to go to the lead. He'll bring Suarez with him. The series champ leads him off four. Master class move by the series champion, and that's going to win in this stage. Ryan Blaney stealthily wins stage two of the Daytona 500, hey. and he practiced it, and that was a practice session for the finish, and he absolutely nailed it. And trouble for Kyle Busch coming out of pit road. <laughs> trouble for Kyle Busch coming out of pit road. He's rolling slowly on the apron. Smoke coming out of that car. He must get to pit road without losing that tire or he'll be two laps down. That's a tremendous job by Kyle Busch to make it to pit road without losing that wheel. He's made it to pit road. They've changed the tire. He's avoided penalty and he's avoided damage. Kyle Busch is still in this race flag in the air and the final stage of the Daytona 500 is underway with Austin Cindric and Daryl Wallace Jr. on the front row. Bottom lane wants to go. That's A.J. Altendinger with Chris Buescher and Martin Truex Jr. behind him. Now it's Altendinger. A lot of that bunch goes to the lead. What a push. A.J. Altendinger to the lead of the 500. Hey. Three by three for the lead with Buescher, Reddick, and LaJoy. Three by three about ten rows deep. Down the back straight away. Formation. Three wide. Unbelievable racing. Now Busher backs off a little bit. Reddick and Almendinger side by side for the lead. Wallace trying to go inside to third. But Almendinger is going to want it back and so is LaJoy. They're three wide for the lead. Almendinger has it, but LaJoy surging on the outside. It is three wide for the lead, and now we are three by three through the first 20 to 24 cars in this lead pack, which is led by LaJoy on the top, Bush in the middle, and Almendinger downstairs. What a beautiful sight as they hurdle off into turn one with just north of 125 miles left in this Daytona 500. Here comes the defending winner of the Daytona 500, Ricky Stenhouse. He had a big roll off of turn four. Now Chas Stain goes up to block Logano. Here comes Stenhouse. He's got an even bigger run. He's past Logano. He's pulling to the left elbow of Ross Chastain. Ricky Stenhouse trying to go back to back, and he's got the lead. The 
This is unbelievable racing. Three by three behind the leader. Now Chastain has Byron closing in on him downstairs. How are they ever going to make the fa final 12 laps without wadding it all up? Side by side for the lead in turn three. Chastain and Logano dead even for the number one spot off four. Why do you love Daytona? You love it because there's 10 laps to go and 28 cars are in this lead pack, all with a chance at winning the sport's biggest race. Chastain with a nose in front of Logano. A big shove comes from William Byron. We said at the open, he's done everything. He's won everything except this race. He's won at Indianapolis. He's won at Charlotte. He's won at Darlington. He's won the series championship. Here he goes to the inside of Logano as he guns for his first Daytona 500. Up to second, but Chastain does a good job of blocking it. Logano with a big run to Keselowski. Keselowski, Chastain shuts it off. Now Logano on the high side. And now Keselowski gets turned in the middle of the pack. Ryan Blaney spins. Suarez gets clipped by Gillen. Eric Jones spins. Tyler Reddick nails the wall. It finally happened. Anthony Alfredo slides. Joey Logano. Ty Gibbs. Martin Truex. Chris Buescher. Daniel Hamrick. Kyle Larson. 15 of them wanted up in turn three. It was just a matter of time. They couldn't keep doing that. They, they could not keep doing that. And it, it's just the nature of the beast. But the big one finally happens. You can hear in the background, Denny Hamlin is involved, limping his car to pit road. Four laps to go, green flag up in the air. Ross Chastain and William Byron go underneath the flag first. Four laps to decide who's gonna win the Daytona 500. Will it be Chastain, the second generation Florida Watermelon Farmer, William Byron, who led the league in wins last year, is underneath his left elbow. Two. Ross Chastain to the lead, but here comes Byron with a shove from Cindric. Byron to the inside. He'll go to the top spot. Third lane foreman being led by Kyle Larson. William Byron leads off turn four. His first career win came here at Daytona in the summer of 2020, but he's got a challenge to his outside again from Ross Chastain. Byron and Chastain again are door to door for the lead with two to go. Now Byron gets a big push from Austin Cindric. Contact further back. Chase Elliott and Christopher Bell ran into each other. They keep it pointed the right direction. We're all clear. Byron, Cindric, the leaders off two. Byron leads in Cindric second. Chastain lost out mostly because you knew Byron's teammates weren't going to help him. Here's Cindric. He goes one way and it shuts the door. Corey LaJoy back into the mixer. Running into third. Chastain fights back on the high side. It's William Byron with the lead. Austin Cindric second. Side by side from third on back. Here they come for the bell lap. If we reach the white flag, the race is official. LaJoy bumps Cindric. Chastain gets turned by Cindric. They crash at the line. They receive the white flag. Now the caution is out. But who is in front? The caution is out. The race is over, but who was in front? William Byron was leading, but then Alex Bowman pulled to his outside. We'll wait for confirmation. This race is over, but it's the moment of caution. Whoever was in front at the moment of caution will have won the race, and it will be one of William Byron or Alex Bowman, the Hendrick teammates. The winner is William Byron. William Byron is being scored the winner of the Daytona 500. And Rudy Fugel, his crew chief, just got the word. And the driver that led the series in wins last year and made it to the championship four, William Byron from Charlotte, North Carolina in car 24, in 2024, has carried on the great legacy of that car number and won the Daytona 500.